Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jill and today I'm going to bring you along on a DIY project that I have never done before. I don't even know if this is going to work out, but if it doesn't, at least it's somewhat funny. I'm not a handy person, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but if it does work out, I'll be super excited. So they're actually concrete bowls. I'll tag the person here with an image of what I'm going to try to recreate. Um, I saw this on Instagram. My mom actually sent it to me via DM and said that I should try to do them. So here we are. All right, so for equipment today, we're going to need some plastic bowls. So these are actually just Tupperware. Um, I bought these on Canadian Tire. It's a set of like 64, you definitely don't need that many, but just kind of whatever size you want the bowls to be. I have a box of screws. This is a pack of 50. Um, they're just drywall screws. And this will be to support the smaller bowl. It'll like refrain it from falling into the larger bowl. Um, we have some cheap oil. Um, so the oil is to lubricate the bowls so that the concrete doesn't stick to them so that you can actually reuse these bowls and that's why we're choosing to use plastic. And then I have some sandpaper. So this is optional if you want like that raw kind of um, look to it then you don't need this but if you want it to be a little bit smoother then you can use sandpaper. And then the concrete and the pail that I bought from Canadian Tire is outside, but I'll show you guys that later. Um, we just need to prep the bowls first, so this is what we're going to do. Okay, so here I am putting the screws, one on each side of the bowls. I'm putting them just below the rim and sticking them in about three centimeters. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it is a crucial step. So here are the six bowls completed and we're ready to go outside now. All right, you guys, so I actually, the first time around, I definitely underestimated how quickly I had to move. Um, I did not have my bowls oiled or ready to go. Um, I only had the screws. I didn't even have like the weights yet. So filming that whole thing did not happen. It's a different day. This is my second set of bowls that I'm making. So step number one, prep the bowls, put the screws in. Step number two, oil them. Step number three, mix the concrete. And then step number four, put the concrete into the bowls, put the weights on top, and then have them on an even surface to dry. right now this is where I've set up the bowls um, as you just saw they were super easy to take out the inside little insert um, now it's time to flip them over and I'm just gonna find something to tap the bottoms and outside with and then hopefully they should just release right out so I'll show you guys that Okay, so as you just saw, that was super easy. I actually didn't need anything to tap it with last time I did, um, but these just kind of, I pressed the bottoms of the plastic bowls and it just popped right out. So I definitely suggest having like a towel or something kind of a soft surface underneath to absorb that shock just in case they do kind of bounce right out of the plastic bowl. Um, but yeah, that was super simple. All right, so this is the smallest bowl that I made. It's so adorable. I actually love this size. And I'm actually really happy adding more water to it made it super soft and smooth. So this is a bowl that I made from the first time around. You see all like the little bubbles in it and uh, it's not as smooth, but then this bowl is like, like a baby's bum. <laughs> 
Okay, so I've put my first set of bowls beside my second set of bowls that I've made, and I want you guys to tell me which ones you prefer. Um, I think I might sand down the tops of kind of the smoother set, which is the second set of bowls, and maybe turn them into candles. I think that'd be super cute. Um, I saw that online, so not my idea, but I love it. Um, and then the first set of bowls, I think I might just leave them raw and turn them into planters for cute little succulents or different flowers, um, just because they're a little deeper so they can support the root systems a little bit better. Okay, so these are them sanded down and I actually love the look of them. It's super smooth looking and I think it's super aesthetically pleasing. Um, I was originally gonna leave my first set to be like more and more raw and authentic looking, but I think I might go ahead and sand them down because they still are a lot more kind of gritty looking than the other ones. Um, so I don't think it'll make a huge difference, but I do actually prefer the sanded look. And that way too, it won't be like, chipping at all, like all these pieces will eventually chip and I think it'll just be easier to sand it down and have it look good forever. All right, you guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial on how to make these concrete bowls. Um, it was new to me and I know that this video is probably going to be super long. I'll try to make it as short as I can for you guys. So make sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you do end up recreating them, send me your photos over at my Instagram account, either at Jill Webster or at Bar with Jill, and I'd love to see them. Have an amazing rest of the day, everyone. Bye.